How to install Salesforce Data Loader for Windows. Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you how you can install Salesforce Data Loader into your computer. Now first of all, what is Salesforce? Salesforce is a cloud-based computer relationship management or CRM software that helps businesses manage their customer relationships, sales processes, and marketing campaigns. It provides a single platform to store and manage customer information, track leads and opportunities, and automate sales processes. Salesforce is used by businesses of all sizes across various industries. Now, Salesforce Data Loader is a tool provided by Salesforce that allows users to easily import, export, and delete large amount of data from their Salesforce org. It can, be, it can be used to insert, update, upsert, or delete records on Salesforce and support various data formats, including CSV, XML, and JSON. The data loader can be downloaded and installed on a user's local machine, or it can be run through the command line or scheduled process. It is a powerful tool that helps users manage your data efficiently and effectively in Salesforce. Now, now the first thing we're going to do to begin our tutorial is go to the new tab and then search Salesforce Data Loader. Now after searching Salesforce Data Loader, we're first going to click on the Data Loader guide over here. Now this will redirect us to the developer version of Salesforce. And as you can see, we have Data Loader over here. This page will be our data loader guide where we can learn everything about data loader like when to use data loader, installing data loader, configure data loader, using data loader, running in batch mode, command line, quick start, data loader third party licenses. As you can see here, data loader is a client application for bulk import or export of data. It is used to insert update, delete, or export, export Salesforce records. Now, you can see the ways we can use it, like the user interface, the command lines. It will also show you the different key features of data loaders, like an easy to use wizard interface for interactive use, an alternate command line interface for automated batch operations, support for large files up to 5 million records, drag and drop field mapping so support for all objects including custom objects can be used to process data in both salesforce and database.com and many more now the next thing we're going to do is look on the left side and then we're going to click on installing data loader the other data loader we can see that there's an install data loader for mac os install data loader on windows consideration for in installing data loader or and an install data loader. Now we're going to choose install data loader for Windows and then we will see this page over here. As we scroll down, we will see a tutorial on how we can install the data loader on our computer. Over here, it informs us the user permissions that are needed, such as API enabled, <coughs> the appropriate user permissions for the operations you're doing, and bulk API hard delete. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do is to install Java Runtime version 11 or later. For example, Zulu Open JDK version 11. Now, to complete this task, we're first going to click on this hyperlink. Now, before we click this, we're going to read through the instructions first so to make sure that we won't get confused down the line. Now, what we're going to do is to download Azul Zulu Build for Open JDK which is where this hyperlink over here will send us later. Then we would need to select the Java version for what we want to download. For the operation system, we would select Windows. For the architecture, we're going to select our computer's architecture. For the Java package, we select JRE. Now after downloading it, we would simply install the OpenJDK. Now to download the data loader, we can simply click this hyperlink over here. Then this, and then that will redirect us to the download page of the data loader. And we would just need to follow the instructions, such as after downloading, we need to extract the files and then 
double click on the install.bat file. Now that we get the gist of what we need to do, we are going to click on this. This will redirect us to the build of OpenJDK Zulu. Now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down, then we're going to click on download free. This will redirect us to this page where we can download the different Java versions. Now we're going to click over here on the operating system. Then we're going to choose the option for Windows. Now this will sort out the different Java that we can download specifically for our Windows operating system. You can also have filters for architecture, Java package, and Java version. Now over here, we're going to download this version, the Java 19, by clicking on the .msi. Now for now, we're going to wait for it to download. Now after downloading, we're going to click on the file that we just downloaded and then the window installer will appear over here. Now we're simply going to click on next. Then we're going to click on next once again. Then we're going to install Azul Zulu JDK 19. We're going to wait for it to finish installing. And this will quickly install our JDK 19. Now after installing, we're just simply going to click on finish. We're going to go back to this page over here. And then we're going to click on this hyperlink over here. This will redirect us to the downloader for data loader. Now we're going to click here where it says download release 57.0.1 spring for windows. And now it's going to download a zip folder and we're going to wait. And now we're going to wait for it to finish downloading. After downloading, we're going to see this folder over here. We're simply going to extract this by clicking extract all. Then we're going to extract. And after extracting, we're going to see this folder over here. Now we're going to click on install and double click it. Then we're going to see this window protected message over here. But we're simply going to click on more info. The reason why this is showing because the publisher is unknown, but we know it's cor but we know it's okay because we downloaded it from the official website. So we're going to run anyway. Then we will see this command prompt over here. Now don't be scared when this appears on your screen because this is supposed this is how data loader works, and they will be using the command pro prompt. Now it's asking us to provide the installation directory which is the data loader. So we're going to type data loader. Now, all you have to do is follow the instructions like provide the installation directory and some series of questions. And after that, data loader will be successfully installed in your computer and you can use it and you can use it for your Salesforce. And that's it guys. That's how you install data loader into your computer. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.